So upper Gulf, generally, you cannot buy antibiotics through over-the-counter. Blue pills. <laughs> as equal allowed in Doha. And there's so many pills as equal allowed. Reason being, Zimbabwe some sub substances when Aziko recommended ama ziko na side effects zenye sinagu against Qatar rules. But we watch one of the story kadogo to before we continue. Uh palitunafanya kuna wa si kuna msea shake ja job. Na ujama anatumia dawa za kupunguza tension, kupunguza hasira na Maybe kupunguza ile psycho. Ojo watu ngini wakua ni machizi kidogo, but wanapewa dawa zinatuliza. Some people, they never knew that wako depressed until they go out in public. Ajuu kusalimia watu, ajuu kuinteract, ajuu kwa approach mrembo. Uh, like, unakatuku wa hao mpaka hata kumesao kusalimia wa rembo. Jumbo guys. This is your guys, Ziki. Karibu tena kwa show. So leo ni ile siku ya kupeleka wasi na rada. Kama kawaida na wachano wale wasi wako mtani, wale wasi wako Doha, wale wasi wako Dubai, Saudi, in Gulf generally. So hii ni wale wasi wenye upenda kutumana madawa mtani. So zingine unujua mostly hapa hosi za hapa Gulf, specifically hapa Doha. Unezenda hosi unambia, unambia doc ni aje. Mina sikia manzino mwona mgongo, na mwona tumbo in a certain way. Yani, mina sikia nika mini msik. Si fatigue, but generally mini msik. Na unamombia, maybe ya recommend, ama recommend dawa, ama afanya tu general check-up. Una mboga ni aje, unaka kwanza, kwanza au sizapo, nakagaka distance na dok. Doko na kukuliza, unasikia aje, ewe, mina sikia sivi hapa, nasikia hapa. Then anakuja na kufanya fanya kakitu viko olimi fanya ana kupiga katochi hivi ana kupiga katochi kwa masikio and then ana kuweka ile inaitwaje hiyo kitu tetroscope ama ni tago aje hiyo e, kitu ya kuweka masikio na ikelewa hapa na kuambia pumua na nguvu unadhani ya manzia na kuangalia vizuri ndio wako sawa but at the end of the day anamaliza kurecommendia painkiller na unasikia nyie hii ugonjwa ni shei ni shei face before na inahitaji antibiotic ama inaitaji dawa za haraka but unapewa paras ni paracetamol mostly watu hupewa paracetamol unapewa citrazine za homa so so wasi wengi tumekuwa ni kama tunakuwa disappointed tukienda hosi but some guys who tumia hii chance kupata pending off cause unapata watu wanafanya kazi 12 hours unafanya kazi nan yani the full week umechapa job without day off, non-stop. So, una, mwacha wenda wasi, upewe sick leave. So, una take advantage. So, that's why maybe mostly wana recommend to pain killers, wana kupatia sick leave ya one day, two days maximum, una lala wana wana job. But now, kuna sisi. Wale tunajua gai, ni kuna bishitangu wana toka Kenya, na eza mtuma some antibiotics, na mbini lete dawa fulani, uh, zenye unapata aziko aziuzi over the counter hapa doha mostly dawa antibiotics are generally aziuzagui over the counter hapa doha so lazima kuwe na doctor's uh, prescription na ukichukua hiyo doctor's prescription ni unapeana kwa chemist ama kwa pharmacy ule pharmacist huwa anachukua hiyo barua anai file ama anaeka kwa system ule daktari ame recommend hiyo dawa in case anything happens in future ama ume overdose ni daktari ame recommend na wanaweza fuatilia what really the case was yani usipatikane umezidiwa na unatumia dawa zenye zikuwa recommended ama pharmacy ilikupatia dawa mbaya so that's why they normally keep the record but unapata mali kama Kenya maybe our african countries some medicines in those over the counter unapata unaenda hosi na recommendiwa dawa but hiyo hospitali haina hiyo dawa so you end up kwenda kwa pharmacy maybe pharmacy ule daktari <laughs> ama pharmacy ya hapo kwa estate so hapa gulf generally you cannot buy antibiotics through over the counter so kuna rules there so many rules zenye zimewekwa na serikali ya Qatar 
na it has been shared with the embassies. We share the Kenyan embassy, Ugandan embassy, and several embassies, they have shared the rules. So it's very important you guys, come, uh, you are planning to send someone to the, the antibiotics or those medicines you need you get to know the rules, za kubebaizi madawa, na the repercussions za kubebaizi madawa, na consequences za kubebaizi madawa. It's very important. Mimi mwenye nisha itumana, especially sleeping pills are not allowed unless you're buying uh, Panado night over the counter that is allowed. But there's some sleeping pills which are not allowed in Doha. It's some blue pills. <laughs> As equal allowed in Doha, and yani, there's so many pills as equal allowed. Reason being, Zimebeba some sub substances, then Yaziko recommended, Ama Zikona side effects, then Yazikona against Qatar rules. Okay? So it's very important you guys move online, you find your own research, now you get to know what are the rules and what are the medicines which are not allowed in Doha. But lucky you. My subscriber, like you, who's watching here today. <laughs> Just take care of your research. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm going to go to the next one. I'm serious. My friend, assume me to serious. We assume to follow the rules and whatever I'm sharing, we will be able to do Anyway, I'll just, I just did my research, small research. I went to the, what we call this one, Qatar Ministry of Health which has outlined all the rules which you're supposed to follow if you want to purchase some medicine, especially if you want to use them. Come on, Takubeba, from your country to this country, there's some outlines in you're supposed to follow. So, like you, Nikona summary. I won't take much of your time. Just take a few minutes, kuskiza, and take more time to go and do your research before to manage dawa. Some people, but we watch one of the story, Kadogo, too, before we continue. Uh, Palitunafanya, Kunawa, see Kunam Sashiku Jajob. Now, Jama, and at me, there was a Kupunguza tension, Kupunguza Sira, na maybe Kupunguza ile psycho, or your twin or any machizi kidogo, but on a poor dawas in Atuliza. So, our two make what you are under medicines, I'm under medication. They really uh, operate normally. They are okay. They are friendly. They are fine. But once that was me, I'm not me that anymore. I want to go extreme. I always control anger. I always control their emotion. I always control their speech. So, ooh, this one person I'll go on to me. I won't mention the country, but this person was using this medicine. A kafika apa na zikaisha. So vile zilisha zile asira. Ile, ile uchizi ndani yake ikaanza kurudi pole pole tu jamaa alipigana kwa room kwa accommodation nao like na accommodation we are living like four guys jamaa amefika hapo yeye anaona kila mtu ni kama ni ni shetani ama kila mtu ni adui so anaanza kushout anajipigisha kichwa kwa ukuta na gonga glasses anataka kujiruda kujirusha kwa dirisha so many can testify these sea stories are jabba but that is the truth even some fellow Kenyans are shaking up. I come and say, "Madawa, waka chizi." Very true. So it's very important, you guys. You take the rule. So here we go, direct to the point. Sawa. So I will just mention few the ISO points. Hope Mr. Director unaniona vizuri. Taki banawa tu waseme wanaona tu head for head. For the angundi o jokes aside, these are the things the. Uh, I'll just re read as I just uh, did my research or I wrote down. Carrying medication to Qatar, key points, okay? Important considerations. What you need to consider when you're carrying these medi medi medicines or medications to Qatar, okay? The first one, you need to know about the controlled substances. Lazimo juinini ko controlled, what are the controlled sub uh, substances? So. Some medications contain substances that are regulated in Qatar. So this is very clear. There was no substances in Guinea as equal allowed it to Qatar. Okay. The second thing you need to consider documentation required for you to carry these medicines to Doha. So if you must bring medications, carry the original prescription and packaging along with the clear literature. 
yani ukibeba hizi doki hizi madawa make sure they are packaged in the original original box si zile unaekewa kartas ka brown and ikiwa 2 times 3 no ziko on the original package and they are clearly indicated either they are in english and translate to arabic either way and then along with the yeah clear literature that is and then over the counter medications some medication that are available without prescription in your home country may be controlled in qatar eg in minji eke eg blue pills wale mnazijua you know if you know you know yeah some medications that are available over the counter in your country they might be controlled here in doha so be very careful and then prescription requirements many common cold and coughs rem re remedies require a prescription so zinu za kuona kohoa maybe uko na allergy ya baridi na wewe unasi mtu unaweza chukua dawa yote but you need a prescription kuchukua kuchukua hizi dawa from the over the counter okay then banned medications kuna zile dawa ziko completely banned you are not supposed to bring them here kabisa so certain medications including some painkillers antidepressant and sleeping tablets are prohibited you think me lewa singio some painkillers ikubaliwi antidepressant maybe dawa zile za kupunguza pressure or something like that and then and then the other one is sleeping tablets ziko kabisa okay ziko controlled kabisa example of controlled drugs zenye ziko controlled hapa doha okay i hope i'm not talking very fast but i wanted to do it very, as soon as possible okay so example of controlled drugs ah narcotics psycho psychotropic hope mimi i'm not from the <laughs> uh, medic profession but i'm trying to read as it is okay nicotic or psycho psychotropic substances zile ziko na dawa za watu wa mechizi hivyo ndio mimi na translate anyway anyway either way medicines like lyrica tramadol stanax and valium are not allowed i'll repeat that eh? nicotic psychotropic substances medicine like lyrica tramadol sanax and valium are not allowed in doha hope i'm clear regulations of carrying medications is in the rules prohibited substances it's illegal to carry banned medication as outlined in local laws so you have to go through the local laws so that you know what substances are banned from entering to doha okay approvals process it required you must apply to the department of Pharm pharmacology and drugs control to bring controlled medi medication so this is clear and before let it our yote hapa just make an application so that you can enter into qatar with this controlled medicine so that wanajua wakawa kijua this you are like allowed to take this medicine without this one you cannot survive we all understand what to come out of pressure diabetic kuna zile dawa nafaa kutumia but you have to apply na this farm so that you are able to carry this medicine without any interference at the airport or control center or something like that so permission guidelines okay permission guidelines medication con documentation okay medication medical con documentation provide that provide that it bro, pro he he don't get a car medical documentation provide a detailed medical report or prescription not older than six months that includes patient's personal details diagnosis and treatment medication details scientific name form dosage hospital seal i'll just repeat that okay guys uh, permission guidelines for bringing the medicine into qatar so there is a medical documentation provide a detailed medical report or prescription not older than six months that includes patients personal details make sure 
kuna details as they reflect in your passport. Personal details, meaning jina yako, age, uh, gender, this kind of information. Then diagnosis and treatment, meaning when mgonjwa nini, and then what is the treatment, what, what are they treating in your body, and then there's uh, uh, medication details. This means scientific name, form, and dosage. Kama ni syrup, kama ni tablets, na what is the dosage, kama ni two times three, like that, okay? And then there's hospital seal. So make sure this, all this information is sealed by the doctors or the specialists, which is mean, what do you call, what, what do you call a seal? A seal ni stamp, yani. Stamp for that hospital, like it has to be original, see in the river road. This is your life, see in the river road. So, usage agreement, usage agreement. So, pledge that the medication is for personal use only. Yani, hizi da watu kibebo kujenazo doa. Usikuja kutumia kufanya vitu zako. Usikuja kutumia kutengu. By the way, unajua, have you, have you, kama unafanya kwa supermarket, hapa galo. Have you ever wondered, mbona mapana doli zinapoteaga? Pana doli zinazo go over the shelves, over the counter, kumarket kuna tu shelf ya Panadol. Have you ever wondered mbona zinapotea sana? Wala watu wa munge ifanyeni research. <laughs> so there is also duration and follow up, okay? So duration and follow up, maximum supply. Izi dawa PSC yetu unabeba katono mzima, utabeba tena mingi. So there is also control also on the same. So there is maximum supply. You can carry medication for maximum of 30 days or for duration of your stay. Meaning, kama umekuja visiting, umekuja dawa ya maybe two months, kama ini mtunapita. If you are staying also, there is also control on the same. So kuna ile dosage, maybe umepewa ya one week, utakuwa sawa, dawa ya homa, dawa ya malaria, after two, three weeks, utakuwa sawa. So sibebe ati umeba katono mzima ya madawa, unaleta kataru, utawe. Tafungo huko miaka kumi. And then local physician. So if, you, if your medication runs out, tawaya kwekisha, consult a licensed physician in Qatar for prescription. Kama tawaya kulibaba ya mwezi moja, mwezi mbili, mwezi tatu imeisha ama inelekea kuisha, usitumane Kenya. You the person unamutuma ye ana iyo prescription na ana iso documents akuletezo madawa. So you have to visit a local Pharmacy or a local profession, which is a physician, ata kurekomendia ama ata kuandikia prescription, uende is the same medicine, na uendele na dosage yako. So special cases, so there's always also special cases. Kuna wala wantumia dawa za injection, kuna wala wantumia some special substances, ata bangi, kuna watu wa meandikuna daktari wantumia bangi. So these are all special cases. So in these special cases, example, injectables, Approvals for inject injectable med medications must be obtained through a local hospital. Okay, so is of it to come as much approval from local hospital. So traveling with others, traveling with others. Okay, so in some in some else carries, if someone else carries your medication, provide a copy of your ID and a consent letter. Kama mtu mwenye ata kubebea dawa, na maybe muna travel pamoja, na maybe amuko in the same place uwezi jibebea, so make sure unamuandikia barua na mpea na copy ID yako. So, pia kuprotect the other person, it's just about you. Protect also your colleague mwenye ana kubebea, ama mwenye mkonae kwa hiyo same trip. Okay? So, the other one ni for diplomats, nili copy too, but here ni special case, diplomats watajipanga. So there's a general advice also. Consult a doctor always. Check with your health care provider about your medication before traveling. Kawaida hiyo, kama unajua unatumia kama dawa flani flani, ona daktari before tende. Avoid large quantities, as I said. Avoid large quantities. Do not carry excessive amounts of any medication. Usibebe dawa mbaka zinakani, kama weni mtu unatumia una na abuse dawa sawa and then common conditions medication for conditions like diabetes and uh, hypertension are generally allowed for one to three months but documentation documentation is necessary so kama uko na dawa za hypertension diabetes 
sukari na vitu za kuendelea kama hizo unaruhusiwa kubeba dawa but usipitishe 3 months usibebe dawa ya miezi 6 ama 12 hii hata inakaa mingi unless maybe hata zinaweza fika hapa zifanye ku expire so it's very important na but duration of 3 months if you need more you can visit a local physician ataku recommend ya dawa very important okay guys eh band medication list band medication list hii anayo mimi siezi sema i will just leave it to you wewe enda kwa ile embassy yako enda kwa embassy yako ingia online angalia zile band substances uh, the country you are traveling to make sure you, you don't carry this medicine to this country okay guys it's very important also mtukaa mimi nimependa nimezoea kutuma na dawa ai mimi hata sitatuma na tena hata hizi zivi piriton unajua piriton hakuna doha hakuna piriton doha hakuna antibiotics hakuna zivi amoxil hapa kwa kwa nini nitwaje kwa over the counter so it means the sleeping pills are not allowed the only kitu unaweza pataga hata ni citrazin i think kwa over the counter citrazin na panadol but the rest uwezi pata over the counter any antibiotic uwezi pata kama any mtu unajua will be traveling so imagine again the thing i didn't i didn't mention this this medicine zinaweza kwa zimeba substances which is not allowed in qatar so imagine if you this substance which is not allowed in Qatar the first thing you will be arrested kuna dawa zimebeba substances which are controlled zenye zinaweza cause a lot of harm here in Qatar so you are not supposed to carry this medicine so you need to know cause some a lot of those medicine example you carry one box they can extract that substance and then create something else so that's why they are trying to control the medications which is entering and leaving Qatar because kuna vitu mingi sana zina happen wana ija hapa nje na wa hindi wanapika vitu mingi sana hapa nje they cook a lot of things na once nimefika hapa kuna dawa zimeunda changa nyinyi mnadhani mongei naundwa na nini moratina tis ni moratina kuna vitu mingi sana hapo unaweza dhani some of the things we are taking in they are very safe but they are not safe because they have been injected with some substances and hata ziwezi kusaidia kwa maisha na unaenda up kuwa diabetic to come and then last reminder guys if you are working in any company guys if you are working in any company na unajua hiyo job unafanya maybe 12 hours 10 hours na because uko na shida zako home una decide me i will work extra hours every day so that i can meet my expenses back home or my needs or my family or my goal kila mtu anakuja na goal yake kila mtu anakuja na plans zake but some wanakuja wana overwork cause mtu hataki kwenda off mtu hataki ku relax then the other thing mtu hataki kujibayata food anakunywa kubus na maji mtu anakula tu fruits anajifanya yeye hezi by any someone is trying to save but do you know kuna jamaa alikufa because of fatigue amefanya kazi 12 hours kazi ya super ya ile ya kusaidia ka, behind the cashier ku pack every day like ana simama 12 hours ana off ah na maybe sometimes ana work extra hours because there's too much pressure sometimes kazi ni mob so sikupenda kwake but alikuwa na complain oh nasikia mgongo nasikia kichwa but this guy siku moja ameamka tu hivi out of bed because of fatigue jamaa kaanguka by the time wenzake wanakuja wamepata jamaa alisha pass out the time ambulance inafika jamaa alisha zidi asha tuacha so take care of yourself guys take time to take rest take time to eat good food take time to take yourself out any try to appreciate yourself fanya tu hata mazoezi kidogo try to walk try to like hizi chakula tunakula hapa they said substances zingine ziko controlled tunakula tuna take in like at food zote hakuna organic hakuna sukuma hakuna ilonga ya mtani hakuna nguashe hakuna giveri hakuna kukienyeji hakuna beef ngombe mechinjwa hope mnanielewa so take time to do exercise 
take time also to fast. Sometimes, lenga ata sikumzima ukuli, take water only. At least try to. Nitu wa nini? Nitu wa nini? Super director, unajua? Eh? Ku detox. Yes. Try to detox. Acha tu yo mwili yo siku, yani tumbo yote ishe, ishe. Kwe tu empty and then you take a lot of water. Remember take a lot of water because there is a lot of heat. Now to Nangia winter, try to keep warm. Manze, take care of yourself. Tutakufa hapa wajie wa indi pesa. And as soon as you die, as soon as you leave, the next moment you are replaced, tunapiga simu, tuna mi kwanza nikiwa hapa na thema we. Kuna vacancy buda, si utafute passport. Immediately you will be replaced. Kuna watu wapa wanda kuleta ma relative. Once you pass, watu wanedea na life. But take care of yourself, work out, eat, rest, and try to go out regularly. Enda doha, ona, meet new friend, new faces. Usikuena depression. Some people, they never knew that you were depressed until they go out in public. Aju kusalimia watu, aju kuinteract, aju ku approach mrembo. Like, unakatuko hao mpaka hata kumesau kusalimia warembo. Anyway guys, cheers and see you next time.